Hey friends, Miranda here, and today we're going to be making one of my most favorite recipes out there. Um, it's a huge hit with the family. Now, today we are making Mississippi chicken. Yes, not Mississippi roast, but Mississippi chicken. Um, technically, the original recipe does call for like a beef roast. Um, you could do it with like a pork roast, but I honestly prefer it with chicken. Um, I have tried it like all three ways and I keep coming back to the chicken you guys um, So what you'll need is obviously some chicken I have some boneless skinless chicken breast in here that I've already cleaned off and everything It's about like three pounds. So roughly two to three pounds. Um, it's like six You know breast fillets in here. So you will need some of that um, Mine I like to make like a one-pot meal you guys So I'll show you that in a second, but you will need an entire stick of butter you will need one packet of the ranch uh, salad dressing seasoning mix and one packet of the au jus. Um, you will also need some of these, however you pronounce them, pepper carnitinis, I don't know. <laughs> but you will need some of these, you guys. And like I said, I like to make mine a one pot meal. Um, it's a very simple recipe, but I do like to add carrots to mine as well as some potatoes. I have about four here just because they're on the smaller side. Um, if you have like big potatoes, maybe do like two. Um, but let me go ahead and just show you what all I do. So I'm going to take my carrots since I already have my chicken in the crock pot here. I'm just going to go ahead and add some carrots to here, you guys. Um, this is just to your liking, but it just makes life easy to make this like a one pot meal, you guys. Um, so just however many carrots you want. If you want to do other vegetables too, you can. Um, most people just do the roast, but I love the flavor that this gives and it tastes really good like with the vegetables and everything. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to do like half a bag of carrots here. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash up the potatoes and peel them and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I got my potatoes all peeled and cut up. I just did some like kind of not too big pieces kind of on the smaller side. Um, then what I like to do is you're going to take your uh, ranch and your au jus mix and you're just going to go ahead and sprinkle it on top of here just like so. If you guys have never had this before, you are in for a treat. It is so, so good. Super easy recipe, you guys. All right, next you're gonna take your stick of butter. You're going to open it up and you're just going to plop it on top <laughs> and then you're going to take your peppers and this really you can add however many you want. The recipe typically calls for about like five to six of them um, but again if you really like these feel free to add more be generous with them um, but I do I roughly just add about that amount or a couple more you know and then I do like to go ahead and add some of the juice just to give it that nice little extra flavor all right we should be good with that then we're going to cover this and in the crock pot it's going to go in there on high for four to six hours now everybody's crock pot varies mine is usually done in about five um so we'll see you when it's ready all right you guys five hours later check out this deliciousness oh my goodness like from the chicken you just get all these juices that come out of it and from like the juice from the peppers here it is good 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 to go you guys let me see if i can unbury this chicken but it should be to the point where you can either just take it out as a whole piece but usually what i like to do is just kind of like shred up the chicken and just kind of serve it like that um almost like a kind of like a beef stew but not quite but look at this you can see that it's coming apart so nicely um so yeah you can definitely eat whole or shred it up however you choose um, and it's just you got your whole meal here, so you are good to go. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It is seriously 
amazing. It's so good. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Enjoy.